Good morning children. I hope all you are fine. Today I am going to conduct a video for the next 8. Social Geography Chapter 3 Atmosphere. About this topic, uh, you guys have already in the core 2 videos. There are many more topics we already discussed. Subtopics. In the last video we discussed about the cyclones or the wind time and the atmospheric pressure and all this. So now in this video we are talking about the humidity, clouds and the How they all influence the temperature and the atmospheric pressure to here. Now humidity. About humidity, I think you know that the humidity is the amount of water vapor or the moisture in the atmosphere. It is called a humidity. So in the humidity is also present in the atmosphere. It is for measuring the humidity is also one instrument is that the instrument's name is the hygrometer. With the help of the hygrometer, we can measure that can add an atmosphere how what kind of humidity is there. Okay, or the psychrometer. Okay. Now in the humidity also there are three types of humidity atmosphere. Which are the three types? First, second, and three. And the first type of humidity is the absolute humidity. Yes. 
and number four is the nimble. These four type of clouds are there in the atmosphere. Okay, first we talk about the stratus. The stratus type of cloud, uh, clouds are found uh, especially from earth's surface to two kilometer height. Earth's surface to two kilometer. So that means uh, this is the earth's surface, uh, and here at the two kilometer we found this type of clouds. Okay. In these climates, they appear as a thin sheet or layers of a large extent. Stated cloud associated with fair weather. And the time the weather is not good, not bad, that time those type of clouds we can able to see. Now the next one is the cumulus. Cumulus clouds are a cauliflower shape. You saw the cauliflower? Yeah, it is a vegetable. So for that kind of shape, the clouds are there. And those are the great vertical extent. Okay, and uh, the base of the cumulus clouds is nearly horizontal, and while the top has a dome shaped appearance, that means this kind of structure. If we talk about the cumulus, then there is a structure, is a this kind of structure. Top there is a dome shape, and the rear is a balancing stream. Okay, this type of structure is there, and uh, these are properly called bull packs. Okay, why the bull packs? Because the shape and because the thickness of those clouds. So that's why it's known as shape. And cumulus clouds are a rain bearing clouds. Okay, the next one is the cirrus. Cirrus clouds are the highest clouds in the atmosphere. It means according to level, it is the highest. And these clouds resemble curls of hair. Okay, you saw your hair uh, curls. Yeah, fully round shape. Yeah. So those type of clouds are known this. And they have a feathery fibrous parents. They indicate fair weather and give and often given a brilliant sunset. And they look like a patches of a cotton fiber floating in the air. Their popular name is the mare's tail or witch brooms. Okay, brooms, witch brooms. I think you saw that in the movie the witch. This is the broomstick of a witch. Yeah, so this type of the shape is this there. Okay, this is the shape there. Talking which broom. Okay. Now the last one is the nimbus. Nimbus clouds are the rain clouds. The last one, these clouds are the rain clouds for us. Okay. And which occur at a low level. And these clouds are have a shape of a stratus or a cumulus. They are dark grey or black in atmosphere. I told you those clouds are in a white color. They are not proper rainfall clouds. But those are the grey or dark grey or the black color. Okay, those are those are especially the rain for the rain clouds are there. Okay. They cause the heavy rainfall or snowfall. So the nimbo stratus are the thick, heavy rain bearing clouds. Okay, so those are the four types of clouds are there. Now we're talking about the rainfall. Now we come on with this topic. Rainfall. Rainfall, you know that it is a precipitation in the form of the water droplets is called a rainfall. Okay, and the total amount of rain received on a given area during a given time as a measure by the rain in a mm. Normally, rain is a measure in a mm or inches in a particular time period and a particular area where it's rain starts. Okay, now the rainfall is also three types. It is also And the first one is the con convection rainfall. Second is the orographic rainfall. And third is the cyclone. Cyclonic rainfall. Okay, there are three types of rainfall. Now first we talk about conventional rainfall. Okay, for here I just draw our diagram. Just see properly. 
Okay, here we know that the hot air it is going on up and down. This rain is coming. Those are the rain. Okay. Now how it's work? The rain caused by the process of the convection is called the convectional rain. In the areas of the high temperature and air rises up due to the heights. Obviously, those areas where because of the high temperature, those are the airs. They are just going up, rising. Okay. And the rising air pools get scattered and condensation take place and later rainfall occur. It means it's the sudden type of things. First, this is the area where from that the air gets the with the water vapor they are just going start rising. When they rise, then they have collect the clouds and then they start to becoming rainfall. It is a conventional type of rainfall. Okay. Conventional rainfall is very common in equatorial region, also in the tropical region in the summer area. In the equatorial region, conventional rainfall is called afternoon rain, as it occurs mostly in the afternoon because the afternoon time period there are mostly the water vapor increasing because of the sunlight, direct sunlight. So it is accompanied by the thunder and rain. So it means in this type of rainfall there is no thunder, no lightning. So this is the convection rainfall. Now we talk about the oligarchic. In oligarchic rainfall, The distribution of the rainfall 
on the earth depends on the location and the climatic condition of that region. The most important heavy rainfall areas in the world are the equatorial region, the eastern margin of a subtropical area, but the western margin of 40 to 60 degrees north and south, and those are the areas they are receive heavy rainfall. And which area there is a less rainfall, obviously polar areas, deserted areas, and those type of areas there is a tropical and temperate areas are there. Those areas they are not able to receive heavy or the nice type of rainfall. Now, some areas which are very famous according to their name. Okay, which areas receive the highest rainfall in India? The place name is a Mosin Rock and it receives every year 1140 centimeter rainfall and it is in a Meghala in India only. Second, Agumbe. It is a place in a Karnataka and it is also known as the South in Mosinra of India. Mosinra of South India. Now, Royali. It is in a Rajasthan and this place receives a least amount of rainfall which is a 8 cm per year. Now, Naya Karnataka. It is in a Chitralika. It is the driest place in a Karnataka because normally Karnataka's western part receives the most rainfall. But this area is the driest place too. Now, Atacama Desert, which is in a Chile, it is the driest desert on the earth and it has not received rainfall from the last 200 years. So that's why it's known as the driest place on the earth. Now we talk about the weather and the climate condition. Weather and climate conditions. Okay, do you know that the atmospheric condition at a particular of a smaller area and at a particular time it's known as the weather. For example, cloudy, sunny, fine weather, uh, normal uh, little bit uh, winds are there. Those are known as the weather condition. And how they measure the weather condition with the Okay, the weather condition, scientific study of a weather condition is also called a meteorology. Okay, and the climate is the average condition of the atmosphere over a long period of a time or a larger area like equatorial climate, subtropical monsoon climate, polar climate, those type of desert climate, Mediterranean climate, tundra climate, those all. And the scientific study of a climate is called climatology. So for weather, uh, for weather area, scientific study is known as a meteorology, and for climate, scientific study is known as a climatology. Okay. In weather, it is a, a particular area, a small area with a particular time period, small time period. It's known as the weather. But in a larger area and the most in the a long time of period condition, it's called a climate. Okay. Weather scientific studies is the meteorology and the climate scientific studies is the climatology. Okay. Now, the which are the factors affecting the climate of a place? Okay. The reason for season, latitudes, this is I am just telling every time, latitude altitude, winds, distance from the sea, distribution of land and water bodies, ocean current etc. All these things are just influence the factors of the weather and climate condition. So children, in this video we already learned about the humidity, clouds, rainfall, weather and the climate condition. Today I am going to bind my session.